Donkey of the day for Tuesday, July 28th goes to Funkmaster Flex. But this isn't a donkey of the day, ladies and gentlemen. It's more like a eulogy. Yes, a eulogy. Uh-huh. In fact, I want to thank you all for coming to help us celebrate the life of Aston George Taylor, a.k.a. Pump Faker Flex. A.K.A. Flex Hogan, A.K.A. Funkmaster Flex. We appreciate you all joining us to share our grief at the passing of his credibility and career. Ladies and gentlemen, another 80s icon has let us down. First Bill Cosby, then Hulk Hogan, and now Funkmaster Flex. Our childhoods have been ruined because another 80s icon has proved that he's just not who we thought he was all these years. In fact, I take that back. He is what we thought he was all these years. The irony of him and Hulk Hogan both playing themselves in the past week. Two old-ass wrestlers. Nothing real about anything that they do. Everything has been a lie. A reach for ratings. What are you going to do when Funkmaster Flex runs wild on you? <laughs> We're not going to do nothing because that's what he does, nothing. A whole bunch of huffing and puffing, but nobody's house ever gets blown down. Now, if you haven't heard this past weekend, Funkmaster Flex went in on Drake because of the allegations that Meek Mill presented that Drake has a ghostwriter now. When I heard those allegations, I can honestly say I didn't care because truth is nobody cares who's preparing the food. They care about who's serving it and does it taste good. I know soon I knew soon as I heard that Drake had a ghostwriter, the general public wasn't going to care. It's a new era out here. We as hip-hop heads will look at him a little funny, but it's not going to stop people from singing his records in the club, regardless who wrote the words. So for me, it wasn't even an issue. People called me about it, sent me the same reference record they sent everyone else to 10 bands, and I wasn't moved to give Drake Donkey today or nothing. I was just like, eh. I thank God that The Breakfast Club, thanks to you, the listeners, are in a position where we don't have to jump at everything. We don't have to reach for ratings. But sadly, Funkmaster Flex is not in that position. See, here in New York, the OG DJ Clue and the Young God DJ Self dominate in the ratings in the nighttime. Hit one of Clue's bombs, please. True. And, and, and I guess, you know, Pump Faker Flex is feeling the pressure because this guy has been reaching for ratings. He's stretching his arms in a way that is not humanly possible. He's turned into Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four. First, it was the fake beef with Jay-Z when he jumped out the window and said Jay-Z text him, this is Hove. Does anybody remember anything about that situation? <laughs> what was that even about? Does anybody remember? No, we don't, because at this point, if you heard one Flex Hogan rant, you've heard them all. In case you missed it, they sound like this. What are you going to do when Fuck Master Flex runs wild on you? This is Hove. Hit one of Clues Bombs. That's it. That's it. Whatever it was, it was a reach, and nobody cared. Thank God Hove didn't take the bait and give that zombie, that extra in The Walking Dead, any life. Well, this past weekend, Pump Faker Flex reached again. He promised to play ref- reference tracks from Quentin Miller, the alleged ghostwriter for Drake. He said he had the reference record to Rico, the joint off Beak Mills album. But that never happened. You know why it never happened? Because he don't got the records. I know who got them, and the person who has them isn't giving them up to you, Pump Faker Flex. Even though you keep calling them, begging them to send them. No, <laughs> but you jumped out the window anyway, hoping, praying, wishing on a star that he sends the reference records so you don't look crazy. And alas, they never came. But oh, that won't stop you from reaching. You jumped out the window and said you had Meek Mill's response record to Drake. You said 7 p.m. yesterday it was going to play. And for the first time in a long time, people gathered around the radio hoping that one of the last icons from the 80s still had something left in the tank. We was hoping to see glimpses of the man you used to be. OG Funkmaster Flex is about to come through with something he hasn't had in years. And that thing was an exclusive, people. We waited (laughs) and waited with bated breath for two to three hours. And alas... Nothing. Nothing. Keyword, nothing. That's exactly what you have become. Nothing. You let the people down once again. Why did we believe in you in the first place when you have showed us over the years you have no credibility left? We should have knew you were a fraud when you tried to sell us love. We were rooting for you. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? 
We should have knew you were a fraud when you jumped out there defending Mr. C. When you knew in your heart Mr. C was a serial purchaser of penis. We should have knew you were a fraud when you made up a fake beef with Jay-Z and posted the screenshot of the fake This Is Hove text message. We should have knew you were a fraud when you lied about having the Drake reference tracks. We should have knew you were a fraud, but we believed. Same way we didn't want to believe Bill Cosby was a rapist. Same way we didn't want to believe Hulk Hogan is a racist is the same way we didn't want to believe that you are a habitual pump faker. We, we, we was all wrong. Listen, Flex, to be believable, we must be credible. To be credible, we must be truthful. You're just a liar. That's it. People can't believe in you anymore because you have no credibility. Credibility is a basic survival tool. You know why Clue and Self killing you in ratings? You know why it's so hard for you to survive out here nowadays? Because you have no credibility. Once again, credibility is a basic survival tool and you can't survive without it. So therefore, you're dead out here. Let's bow our heads. Dear Lord, in your hands with Tupac, we humbly entrust Flex Hogan in this life. You embraced him with your tender love. Deliver him now from every evil and bid him eternal rest. The old order has passed away. Welcome him into paradise where there will be no sorrow and no pump faking. With your son and the notorious B.I.G. forever and ever. Amen. Let's have a moment of silence for Funkmaster Flex. <laughs> Whoa. You, I'm, I'm trying to be serious here. That was you. I'm trying to be serious here. Jesus Christ. Could you give Funkmaster Flex, a.k.a. Flex Hogan, a.k.a. Pump Faker Flex, the biggest hee-haw, please? He's dead out here. And I'm sure, I'm sure he'll try to come on, you know, later on and talk about me bleaching my skin. And he'll talk about the guys trying to jump me in front of the radio station. But remember this, Flex, regardless what you say about me, still doesn't make you more credible. You still pump fake a Flex from here to eternity. Sheesh. Have a nice, Amen. Have a nice day. Sheesh. All right. Well, with all of that. <laughs> well, thank you for that donkey today, sir. That was a eulogy, but you're welcome. The Breakfast Club.